break with Andy Tudor this morning from Nexus Minerals. Andy, morning. Morning, Andrew. Look, you've got some uh, some assays in here. This from the the recently completed regional uh, Air Corps program at Walbrook. You've seen some high grade near surface results. Tell us a bit more. Yeah, look, this is the uh, exciting start to a sort of 12, 14 month program of, of regional assessment of uh, the Walbrook project. We've, you know, the last few years been obviously spending a lot of time in the Crusader Templar area and the mineral resource estimate work and now ultimately sort of the mine study work we're doing. But really the, the rest of this you know, area and sort of in the map and figure two of the announcement today, you know, there's roughly 50 square kilometres there, which has barely, barely seen the light of any exploration, certainly prior to Nexus in the previous sort of 30 years. There just hasn't been any. And, you know, on, on again, on that figure two in the announcement, you know, you've got no less than you know, five uh, operating or recently completed gold mines, multi-million ounce district. And in between, you've just got a function of ownership um, that all this tenements uh, and tenure uh, hasn't seen any regional exploration at all. So I suppose we've used the learnings from Crusader Templar and the near surface, high grade uh, oxide transition ore that, that we know, you know, has good metallurgy and and it's it's um, you know, very, very positive what we're seeing there. And we're using that knowledge now to take it out further and wider. So the last couple of years in the background, we've also been pulling together all of this regional work, five regional uh, mineralised corridors, and then ultimately within that, where we've got northeast structures crossing them, you know, a lot of work's gone into these sort of 18 circles, if you like, on the map. So, and then what what, what is the, the best way to explore? You know, out here, the, the Air Corps programs uh, are the best way to, to get a decent coverage and to get a decent depth and some information. Uh, soil sampling, very shallow, but really we need to sort of look through the cover, which Air Corps does, and you get the first metre of fresh rock underneath your cover so you get a good picture of what your regolith what your weathered profile looks like but it's that bottom meter as well that you want in that so it's almost a glorified soil sample you're seeing right the way through to fresh rock you're stripping away that top material and you're saying what does the what does a fresh rock rock look like so and in air core you know anything greater than 0.1 gram per ton gold is anomalous so you're definitely seeing those anomalies in and greater 0.4 you know is considered highly anomalous because you're really getting into uh, or sort of level of numbers and certainly populations of gold. So anything greater than 0.1, you simply put a, uh, obviously a ring around it. Anything greater than 0.4 gives you a highly anomalous picture. So from what we've seen of the results here then, and this is first pass here, of course, so you know, we're going there for the first time. You just want to get a general coverage and then not ultimately, I suppose you'd like to follow up some. Some will fall away, which we completely accept. We can't expect all of them to, to hit the big ones. Um, and then a few will be sort of put to one side and be ready for our seed drilling. But we want to make sure and cover all 18 with Air Corps first, then we can rank them. So that's the exploration strategy for this sort of moving forward you know, here. And what we found from these results, sure, you know, MC 2.1, fantastic, high grade, abuts the, the currently operating you know, Northern Stars Walbrook gold mine. So you would assume it's a good place to start. And again, that's where the best results have been. But that being said, it's you know, a couple hundred metres wide. It's over 220, 230 metres in strike at the moment. And the best of the results are in the most northern line. So the next, you know, moving forward, obviously we need to follow that up with further air core, continue until we can sort of put a, a circle around that anomaly. 1.4, 5.1, they're already kind of, we know the boundaries of them through this anomalism. So they're really ready for ranking with all the other, other targets um, and be ready for, uh, for RC testing. So great results, good gold anomalism, uh, particularly even like 1.4, even though the grade was probably the least of the three that we're going to follow up and put ready for further testing. You know, to have a 500 by 200 metre consistent anomaly line on line on line, that's really what you're looking for. That's that's really the, the a highlight. I said even though the tenor was slightly lower, it gives you that you know, competent holds together. You can then run your RC lines through it and really get a good picture. So across the board, really happy to hit three out of four. You know, target four point two didn't come up, so we'll literally put a line through that one and go. Okay, no more work to be done here. We accept that uh, that one didn't work. 
but we've got the sort of, yeah, three of them that we're following up out of the four. So for the first uh, the first round, first pass, first air call, regional, uh, really happy with the results. So it's been been great to see. And, and again, you know, we've talked you know, over many years now, Andrew, about uh, the red rocks out here and you know, the hematite, this sericite alteration that we're looking for with rutile. You know, that's what we're looking for. And so to be drilling air core and see those red rocks come out of the ground, you know, in amongst an area where, again, you can be drilling, you know, for weeks and see just green rocks, which is not at all what we want. So to be able to sort of get these red rocks in this first program in these um, in these prospects has been uh, been fantastic result. And so this the second round of air core uh, due to get underway mid September. You're looking at ten thousand meters here. Yeah. So this is again rolling program. So we've had a month. We've got the results, assess them, ready to go back into two point one and do some extensional air core plus pick the next three target areas. And, and head into them. So brand three, brand new ones, we know work's been done, follow up on the 2.1, and then just start to, as we go, work our way through, follow up, assess, rank, either move to one side or they move forward in the process. And really it's a, it's a project and a program that really deserves it. And I said, we you know, couldn't have been happy with the first lot. Hence, we can sort of turn this rig virtually straight back on and get out there and do the next 10,000. And Andy, you mentioned here you're progressing Woolbrook on a number of fronts. Uh, what else? What else are you up to there? Yeah, the um, yeah the, the MRE area at uh, Crusader Templar. We continue to try and update and and work through the different. Uh, we had four areas that we were testing with diamond work there: uh, metallurgy, geotech, groundwater, and waste rock. Uh, the waste rock and the groundwater have already come through, so we're, they've tidied up, no problems there, and we're just waiting for the last of the MET and the geotech to come through. So ultimately, you know, update the scoping study in the September quarter and then really make some decisions on what we're going to do with the project after that. But all inputs to date are all looking positive. We're happy how that's rolling forward. And uh, yeah, so we've got about a, a month to go, and then we'll uh, we'll get that next one out. So a lot going on in that space as well. Good to speak, Andy. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.